take five amazing everything keeps going wrong hi my name's albany and i thank you for joining me here and this is a news amazing way of sharing the word john 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with elohim and the word was elohim hallelujah scriptures this is what we'll be looking at and because of two reasons They've restored all the Kodesh names of the Father, the Son, and, and, and the Spirit of Yahweh. And there's more than 200 errors found in every other Bible that these people have bothered to put right. Take a look at Alan Horvath's re video called Recap, Understanding Your Bible. Thank you. So, I'd like to pray to be Yahweh for all he brings to us as food and to share some inspirational scripture with you today. Let's start with Matthew 28, 19. Go and instruct all the nations, immersing them in the name of the Father and of the Bain, the Yaqid, the Son, and of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Spirit of Dedication. 1 Timothy 4, 13. Until I come, give attention to reading, to encouragement, to teaching. Thank you for the instruction, Father. John 4.24 Elohim is Ruach, Spirit, and those who worship him need to worship in spirit and truth, not in the flesh, as so often do. So many do. 2 Timothy 1.16 states, Stir up the gift of Elohim which is in you. Look for it then. Let's seek it. Let's desire it with all we are. And that might be the only way to get there. Proverb 4.20 Incline your ear to my sayings. Also Romans 15.4-7 Jeremiah 29.13 And you shall seek and shall find me when you search for me with all your heart. Thank you, Father. Hold my heart yours. Psalms 37, 34, wait on Yahweh and guard his way. John 14, 23, guard my word. Well, if you guard the word, it's the only way of finding out his way. John 14, 15, if you love me, you shall guard my commands. They're in the word, the scripture. Exodus 3.15 states, Yahweh is my name forever. Yahweh is my name forever. Second Chronicles 16.9 The eyes of Yahweh diligently search throughout all the earth. Thank you for searching, Father. Please find me. Please, please find us all in the Mishpacha. Proverb 3, 5 to 7, 5. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. 6. Know him in all your ways and he makes all your paths straight. And 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Revere Yahweh and turn away from evil. Proverbs 3, 19. Yahweh founded the earth by wisdom. He established the Shamayim by understanding. Zechariah 4.6 Not by might, nor by power, but by my Ruach, my spirit, says Yahweh of hosts. Yep, that's true. John 14.26 The Helper, the Ruach HaKodesh, whom the Father shall send in my name, he shall teach you all. And look at John 15, 26 to clarify. Malachi 3, 16. Then shall those who revere Yahweh speak to one another and think upon his name. Hello, my Havirim, my friends. That's what we'll do here. Matthew eleven twenty nine. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble in heart, and you shall find rest for your beings. Thank you, Father. <sighs> Romans 8.28 And we know that all works together for good to those who love Elohim, to those who are called according to purpose. Psalm 27, 14, wait on Yahuwah, be strong, and let him strengthen your heart. Proverb 14, 26, in the reverence of Yahuwah is strong trust. Psalm 89, 8, who is mighty like you, O Yah, and your trustworthiness is all around you. Psalm 148, 5. Let them praise the name Yahuwah, for he commanded, and they were created. That's us people, us, created us, and everything we know. So, I was a Muslim for six years. The Quran tells you to read my other books and includes the Torah, so I did many many questions arose uh, I filtered them down and worked them out to what they really were and some controversy Yeshua is only a prophet I had to question that okay he's actually a yakid, a unique one to the creator it's in the words of the scripture do not distinguish between my prophets they are equal Okay, so try reading this scripture, which has done more research probably than your scripture. So, Allah, I give you my name. Well, this doesn't say that, and this was written 500 years later. Oh, uh, there was more. I had to ask what exactly is the Trinity? And why so much controversy? What's the truth? Your truth. The Father's truth. The creator's truth. What am I supposed to be doing here when I don't agree with anything here? Why don't I ever fit in? Are there, there others like me? That was a big question. I looked for two years to find others like me. Am I just too stubborn and picky to conform? And have I really found you? So... Yes, all of them were a problem in my head. And I asked questions. And that research led me to Alan Horvath and all the people I've met through that channel. A channel on YouTube. I was delighted to hear and listen to the wisdom being showered upon him by our Elohim. All the answers are there on the Alan Horvath channel. And here I am, one year later, feeling compelled. Thank you, Father. My path has been cleared. And now I'm over the trauma of my path being cleared for me and not really knowing what to do. I've decided what to do. I was reading Proverbs the other day. And I thought, I can share this with you. I should share all this wisdom with you. So that's my new plan. I'm going to share Proverbs with you as my next little embarkment and I thank you and hope you'll be joining me there. Praise Abba Yahweh. <sighs> Amen. Praise Abba for everything. Amen.